Welcome guys to Space Engineers 101 Episode 1 Power Sources and throughout the whole series my goal is to teach you the basics of Space Engineers so you can go out any server, any single player mode, any co-op experience with your friends, pals or by yourself and have a basic knowledge on how Space Engineering works. And today we're going to tackle on power sources, the very very important part of Space Engineers for any aspect guys because power is important to power your base station rovers or whatever guys so the first thing we're to tackle is going to be large and small reactors guys large and small reactors require something called uranium i hope you guys know what uranium is because you're going to be needing a lot of it throughout your experience of space engineers so uranium comes in two forms one uranium ore and two uranium ingots you get uranium ingots when you put uranium ore into a refinery and it gets spits out uranium ingots now uranium ingots will power your reactors now this reactor right here is standalone i'm going to show you a good example of a reactor in the working environment so this reactor right here is connected to the small base that i produce and is powering a lot of the electronics on this base with combination of my solar panel system which we'll get into very soon now with a nuclear reactor you will be able to power a whole base just like this one just off using uranium now let's say if you're trying to power a big ship you will also use a large reactor but let's say you're trying to build a small ship well you'll be using small reactors as you can see this ship right here has two small reactors and also uses uranium so like i mentioned before uranium is going to be a big big piece of powering a lot of your small and big ships throughout space engineers now the second power source within space engineers are solar panels solar panels are a little different as you can see right here i have a rover being powered by solar panels now these solar panels are on top of the batteries and are charged up during the day when the sun's out now you can also have a big solar farm as i have over here these solar panels are all charging up these batteries and powering the electronics on this base now this base is solely powered by solar panels because it is the default base you get when you open up this single player server now let's say if you wanted to use both solar panels and batteries and nuclear power you can because that's why i have set up over here guys right now the solar panels are not on because the sun isn't out is is going into nighttime but the batteries are charged the batteries stay on until they're discharged and then start charging up as the sun comes up now guys it's pretty cool to have both of them because the thing is these batteries are not going to last super super long and you want to have a backup power source and that's what a lovely reactor will be able to do because a lot of this stuff like the h2 tank refineries assemblers air vents all this fun stuff even your med room inside your base takes up a lot of power guys and you want to be able to power all those electronics so having the two is very beneficial unless you have a giant ship guys giant ships are take a lot of power and these solar panels in my opinion uh you're gonna need a lot of more batteries for a giant ship like these batteries take up a good amount of space and to power a whole ship efficiently is gonna take a lot of batteries so when you're building like these small ships like these and large ships uranium is the way to go large reactors small reactors are the way to go but when you have like little rovers like these and you're not using them consistently they're really really good really really efficient and they just go to and i would honestly just recommend solar panels for rovers and for bases guys so that's basically the basics you need to know about power sources guys our next episode is going to be on lovely conveyors and how to use conveyor belts so stay tuned and i'll see you in the next video